Hello and welcome to a first session on Tocharian morphology. We will start with a very short overview of the morphological uh, properties of the Tocharian languages, move on to stem formation and uh, here particularly uh, focus uh, on nominal derivation and uh, some productive mechanisms of derivation in Tocharian. So to our overview, the Tocharian languages are fusional, like any uh, expected in European language, but have some agglutinating uh, traits. Uh, Tocharian morphology is mostly concatenative, and the main uh, morphological device found in Tocharian is uh, affixation. Um, so let's look at adjectives here. So these are uh, three of the most uh, productive suffixes uh, and they play a role in building uh, secondary uh, adjectives from various stems, as we will see. Um, we have here uh, orasche, moody, uh, derived from or, uh, wood, and uh, the cognate uh, in uh, Tocharian A. We have ostanje, domestic, derived uh, from ost house, and jokanji, uh, 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 thirst, in Tocharian A, uh, thirsty. We have uh, octatze, eightfold, uh, and it's uh, cognate in Tocharian, octatze, eightfold. Um, the interesting thing uh, about uh, the Tocharian nie and she adjectives and their equivalents in uh, Tocharian a is that they can be used instead of the inflected genitive. Uh, this is, by the way, not unlike the Anatolian uh, sa adjectives. So let's look at some examples here. Uh, so this first example is from Tocharian A. Uh, the press mark that you see here is new. It stands for uh, a larger manuscript for which we have several leaves. Uh, YQ means uh, Yangqi, uh, which is a place uh, uh, in China where this manuscript was discovered only fairly recently in 1974. Um, this manuscript belongs uh, to a Buddhist play called uh, Maitreya Samiti Nataka the getting together, Samiti, uh, with the Buddha of the future, namely Maitreya, which was venerated as a savior. This play was very popular in the region. Uh, we also have an old Turkic version of it, the uh, Maitri Simit Non Bitik, uh, which is a direct translation uh, of the Tocharian A text. Uh, one of the old uh, Turkic manuscripts we have has a colophon that states that the text was translated from a language that the old Turkic speakers called Tohri, and this is how the Tocharians wound up with their modern name, Tocharians. Um, but let's turn to our passage here. Okay, so, Mrkam palsin prochamnyeis korpa, a künzenusche prochamnye yamimar. So, in return for the benefit of the law, I want to offer benefit in property. And um, if you look, uh, we are interested here in uh, Murkampalshin, the adjective derived from uh, Murkampal, and that's the Tocharian word for Buddhist law or Dharma. Um, and we also are interested in uh, Akuntsuneshi, um, the adjective derived from Akuntsune, meaning possession property. Here we can see, uh, even though these forms are morphologically adjectives, uh, they function as genitives in this passage. Okay, turning uh, to an example of Tocharian B. Uh, so you're already familiar with these abbreviations and the call numbers uh, now. Um, the passage is from the title section of a work called uh, Udana Lankara, which is a commentary on the Udana Varga. What is the Udana Varga? It's an early Buddhist collection of topically organized chapters. Varga uh, in Sanskrit of aphoristic verses or utterances Sanskrit Udana attributed to the Buddha uh, and his disciples. Dharma Somunye Udarankarne Marga Varkunse Purvashe Pake. In Dharma Somas Udarankara, uh, first part of the Marga Varga. We're interested in the first uh, word of the line uh, Dharma Somunye, which formally again is an adjective uh, derived from the Indian name uh, Dharma Soma, but clearly here functions as a genitive. The nominal derivational base usually is the oblique stem, which is also the accusative case. Um, however, productive derivational uh, morphemes can attach to any base, uh, as you can see in the following examples here. So, uh, Schmellersche of births 
uh, from uh, the nominative accusative plural schmela. Uh, here, the to care in a equivalent. Klautsanjesche uh, of ears, derived from the nominal oblique dual klautsanje, from klautso, ear. And here, the to care in a equivalent. And an interesting case, case chische, your, uh, from oblique singular uh, g, from uh, the pronoun tuve, uh, you, and here the to care in a equivalent. Uh, these examples are already give a glimpse at the agglutinative traits uh, of uh, to carry in. Um, productive derivational morphemes can also be stacked in what looks like chains, uh, where you get derivational chains. So let's take uh, to carry in b snai, that is the preposition without. Here we can uh, derive uh, an adjective uh, snaitze, pur, from which in turn we can derive snaitzunje, poverty, and from which in turn we can derive snaitzunjesche, pitiful. And uh, to show you that this is not made up, here are some passages exemplifying each step in this derivational chain. Uh, so this passage is from a Buddha Stotra, so uh, a hymn uh, to the Buddha. Um, so snaikesh nreintane nemcek tsek samai, I certainly burned in hells without number. Uh, and you can see snaikesh without number, so uh, literally countless, um, uh, is a nice exemplification of snai as a preposition. Uh, the next passage is from the Karma Vibhanga. You remember the classification of acts that deals with consequences of good and evil deeds for future births in the Buddhist tradition. So, Katsino Vnolme Snaitze Muskentur. So, why uh, is the being poor? As you can see, Snaitze poor is an adjective, uh, literally something like without ish or without i, and it agrees with Vnolme uh, being here. If we turn uh, to our next uh, examples, uh, this passage again is from the Udalalankara. Latin Osmen Sneitznie, um, they went from the house into poverty. And as you can see here, the adjective Sneitze, poor, was the derivational base for Sneitzne, uh, which is just a variant of Sneitzunje, uh, poverty. And uh, the final example from an Avadana, uh, that is a Buddhist philosophical uh, text, Onolmens Sneitzunjesche Lakle Aranchne. Premane, um, carrying in the heart the pitiful suffering of the beings. And here we find Sneitzunjesche derived from Sneitzene or Sneitzene uh, as an adjective in the sense of pitiful, uh, very much like German arm, uh, arm, for, <laughs> which can both mean poor and pitiful. Uh, here are some examples of productive uh, action and or abstract noun uh, formations. Um, so uh, we have very productive R um, uh, action nouns uh, and here is Yamor, literally an action noun, it means action or uh, deed. Uh, or to carry in a, a kutkor, uh, passing from uh, the root kut, uh, pass. Then uh, we have L um, abstract nouns or uh, action nouns like chamel, uh, birth, uh, derived from the root tum, to be born, uh, and the uh, to carry in a uh, equivalent here. Then uh, we have uh, a very interesting uh, case of forms, uh, the kraupe type, it's also a type, so kraupe means uh, crowd and is distantly uh, related to German gruppe. Um, and it's equivalent in to carry in A. And these go back to old uh, Thomas type uh, in the European um, action nouns. A very productive uh, abstract formation are formations in nie, uh, orkam nie, uh, dark, darkness, uh, from orkamo dark um, in uh, to carry in B. Um, and um, very likely related form, but with a slightly complex suffix are the lune, um, abstracts into carrying A, uh, Nyktunje, uh, divinity uh, derived from Nykut, uh, the word for God. Um, and uh, on the next slides, we find some productive agentive uh, formations. 
So uh, here we have uh, the Nza formations, for example, uh, Vapanza Weaver uh, from the root Vap, um, and we find a nice equivalent in Tukherin A, uh, or Enta Prekshenta Judge from the root to, uh, uh, or from better to say, from the present stem Preksh Ask, um, and we have the exact equivalent in Tukherin A. And then uh, our friends in Encha here, like Prencha carrying from the root Pur uh, carry, and Prant into carrying A uh, carrying from Pur uh, carry. Uh, these are our very productive uh, formations of the NT uh, participle, present participles. Okay. Um, the first example here is from uh, Tukherin A, from the very famous story about the mechanical uh, doll that my colleague Gerd Kaling uh, already mentioned. Um, so let me read it to you. Uh, alak peke, alak pekant, kialma kursnat. Uh, one thing is the painting, the other is the painter. Why don't you know that? What is nice about this passage is that we have both uh, an action noun, uh, peke, painting, and the agent noun, pekant, painter, uh, both connected, of course, with the verbal root uh, pick, uh, which means to paint. Our uh, to carry B example is again from the Udan Lala Kara. Nirno Yitarje Akshusa Oktatsa Jmela Nautchencha. But the eightfold uh, way uh, proclaimed by me is destroying uh, the births. And here we have the abstract Chmela, birth, derived from the root Tüm, to be born, that we already encountered at the phonology session about a palatalization. And we have Nautschenscher, the present participle of the causative uh, present stem, Nautisch, uh, which means uh, destroy or make disappear, which is built to the root Naut, disappear. So thank you very much for your uh, attention. In the next morphology session, we'll uh, deal with uh, the other important mechanism of uh, uh, nominal formation uh, besides derivation, and that is compounding. <laughs>